Hey everyone, welcome back to Dutchman's. I realized I haven't made too many houseplant videos recently, so I figured I would give you guys an update on some of the things that have been putting on extra leaves and growing a little bit bigger and all that kind of thing. I also have another addition, which is a green spider plant that a friend at work gave me. I just potted this up. A lot of the leaves are bent over and my cat's been playing with it. A, uh, a green spider plant isn't toxic to cats, but it is a little hallucinogenic. So you got to be careful that they don't eat too much of it because it can also cause an upset stomach if they eat too much of it. So just be a little careful with that. But other than that, they're pretty good for, you know, having around the house and in places where your cat or dog might get to it because it's not going to hurt them too bad. You still don't want to overdo it. All right. So that's it. Let's go look at some of the plants that have been doing good and, you know, some new stuff going on. All right. So here's my Monstera Deliciosa. Most people would more than likely just put them on a moss pole and let them climb up that. But I really didn't think that that would hold this Monstera because if you can tell, the trunk is pretty thick. They're pretty heavy as well. So I wanted to actually put a trellis on them. I felt like that was more secure. So that's what I decided to do. It's gotten really large and it puts out new leaves like crazy. So it also puts out a whole lot of aerial roots, which try to show you. A whole bunch of aerial roots. And what I'm going to be doing with them is train them to go into the container. So all I'm going to do, this might be a little too short still, but I'm just going to guide them into the soil. And then that way I'm hoping that they'll thicken up and provide some more support. Like I'm actually hoping that they'll get pretty thick. They get pretty thick anyway, so I'm hoping that they'll just fatten up even further. And uh, yeah, provide another support for the Monstera. As you can see, there's plenty. And uh, I have the vast majority of them growing into the soil already. There's just a couple ones that are still growing. Just have them tied up with U twine, which is uh, decomposable, which is nice, I feel like. Yeah, see, this is what was happening. It was actually kinking because I just let them hang over the pot, but they were getting so heavy that they were actually setting in that spot. So these little kinks are in there now. It doesn't really matter too much. I'm sure though, part of, some of that will straighten out and some of that will look more natural as it grows up. But yeah, that's the monster. All right, so coming up the stairs here, you can see that this sedum has put on a whole bunch of flower stalks. Uh, some of them actually develop into some flowers and they look pretty nice. Other than that, we have this peperomium, which is also put on what I'm going to guess are also flower stalks. They're not quite as showy as um, most, th most flowers that you'll see, but there are <laughs> quite a few of them. So, pretty neat, it's growing absolute gangbusters. It's actually pretty large now. It started off as a little itty bitty cutting about that size. Probably about a year and a half ago or so. Other than that, this um, dragon fruit here has put on two extra arms there. Two extra stalks, whatever you call them. And the one that was already there has also gotten a lot longer. So... It's growing really well. It's very nice to see. All right, that's pretty much it for right here. So let's head on into the plant room now. All right, as you can see from the last video, it is pretty uh, pretty full now. But the ones that are especially of note are this jackfruit right here, which was probably mostly defoliated uh, when I made a video about it last. But since then, it has gotten quite a few new branches. I took out the dead stumps, things like that. But it's branched out pretty well. Put it on some new growth. It's doing pretty well now. 
So I'm not putting it outside anymore. I'll probably just leave it inside indefinitely at this point. Other than that, all my avocados and mangoes had to be brought in because it was getting a little bit too cold. Although it is actually maintaining uh, within the 40s range, which is pretty good to see, which is about uh, 5 Celsius. Staying kind of in that ballpark area. That's my biggest avocado. It actually grew quite a bit. Uh, this was their first growing season, so it got pretty large. And uh, I also had a volunteer in one of my uh, compost pots. I just put a bunch of food scraps in it and let it decompose over the summer, along with some wood chips and charcoal. Yeah, so I dug that one up and put it in a pot. I didn't get to show you that, unfortunately. But, yeah, it was pretty neat to have another avocado. It was just growing among some wildflowers all summer. And there's the last one. This one got mostly eaten by something. Uh, the leaves that were affected have fall, dropped off at this point. Kind of like these. I'm not sure exactly what caused it. Originally, I have a fair amount of caterpillars back there that did most of the damage. But I don't think these were caterpillars. Because I never actually found a caterpillar on it. And the only other one that really munches on anything is, is are slugs. But it seems a little high up for slugs. And I also, again, didn't really see him on there too much. But if I had to guess, it does kind of look like uh, caterpillar damage. So that's my guess. Uh, I just can't be 100% sure. It's not something I'm worried about, though. It, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll recover just fine. They've got plenty of foliage on them. Up front here I have my rubber tree, it's doing well. It's gotten maybe like four or five new leaves. It was pretty small when I first got it. Well, probably maybe about three, I would say maybe about three. But it's a little larger, going well. Over here, I can't think of the name right now. Ah, but it's gotten pretty, pretty big. <laughs> the name just slipped my mind. But it's put on a fair amount of new growth. It's doing well. I love the other side of these leaves. The color is just awesome on them. Love that. It will need a bigger pot here pretty soon. It's in a relatively small pot, but I didn't want to pot it before um, the, the winter comes along. I'll probably just do that in spring. And then there's my Norfolk Island Pine. I took out the dead ones. Only one of them survived, fortunately, but that's okay. I can actually grow these from cutting, so once it gets probably quite a bit bigger, I'll uh, take some of the cuttings off of it and try to grow those from cuttings if I want more. One of them might be fine, but you know, if I want more, I can. This is definitely a star of the show. It's a Thanksgiving cactus, and it is absolutely covered in flower buds. Focus, they're everywhere. It's awesome. This is a white variety that gets like a little some pink in the, in the centers. So probably about three weeks or so, this thing will be completely covered in flowers and I'll definitely be uh, making an update video about that because it's quite a show. And it's gotten huge this year. It's just growing so well, putting on so many flowers. It's awesome. And then I have another one back here that I got from my uh, sister-in-law. And you can see that that one is also covered in flowers, which this one is red, I believe. But it'll be interesting because I have not seen the flowers yet. But it's it's gotten pretty darn big. Uh, when I got it, it was maybe like a segment. So like, maybe something like that. It wasn't very big, so it's definitely grown quite a lot. So it'll be interesting to see um, the flowers on that one, which hopefully will be out at the same time as this one, so I can kind of show them at the same time. It's pretty fun. I like Thanksgiving cacti. I might have to get some more of them. The uh, star fruit are still doing pretty well. I struggle sometimes growing these, but um, yeah, these two are doing good still. For some reason they get to about this size and then they just die off. I'm not really sure why that happens. Um, I mean obviously it has to be an environmental something uh, factor that, that, that makes that happen. But you know I can't really pinpoint exactly what it is. But they're still doing good now and uh, I'm just going to keep doing what I was doing.
Hopefully they continue to grow even larger. Once they get a little bit of a woody trunk on them, I can imagine that they'll get a little bit more resilient than what they are now. This mango hasn't done a whole lot uh, all summer. I'm going to guess it was just too cold. But at this point it is actually putting on some new growth now that it's in a warmer inside. So I might just have to grow this one inside as well. But it's doing good now. It's getting some new growth. So it's really all I can ask for. Um, that's about it. I don't have too much else to show really. The Thanksgiving cactus is definitely uh, the showstopper. Along with this one that I forgot the name of. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. It's beautiful though. Alright guys, just a quick video. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.